Manchester City do the business tonight at Old Trafford. I've got to say, it was rather comfortable, Nick. Yeah, it was, yeah. I mean, that's what City, City are like. That's like a training ground game for them. You know what they're going to do. They're not going to change. Uh, if anything, they just needed to get that first goal, which was unfortunate in the first half when Kevin De Bruyne hit the post. Uh, but that is what City do. They keep the ball, they keep pressing. I thought maybe they would bring Aguero or Jesus on. They didn't have to do that. Mm. And it ended up being quite comfortable for them. But I just think you look at the scenes at the end and... Does it mean anything to Manchester City? Of course it does. it mean anything to Guardiola, to the team, the players? Diaz, the performance tonight, mm -hmm. him and Stones, I tell you what, what a player they've got there, you know, and he, he, it's that togetherness and you feel it's it's coming now. It's it's a good result. I thought Manchester United a little bit lost with Manchester United. Uh, it's a difficult when you're playing against Manchester City, but you still expect to, a lot more. And they should be full of confidence at the moment, obviously, because they're in the title race now as well. So, But the few question marks today for, for Manchester United's defence. For the first goal in particular? Um, yes, today was a bit hard just to, to find spaces, just to defend well. Uh, very commanding performance from, uh, from Man City and um, uh, yes, they should have done better on the, on, the, on the free kicks, you know, there was too much spaces and, uh, and uh, yeah, it was a great ball, you know, just between the goalkeeper and defenders. That's really, really hard just to, uh, to defend, but still the, they should have, um, you know, started maybe one yard away just to be a uh, before Stone, so it's a slight mistake, but uh, was very important. Yeah. It was seeing that goal because I mean, it's gone straight through Nick into the six yard box, beating four United players, including Harry Maguire. That should not be happening. You know, what, what we're looking at here now, and I think it started off with, with Liverpool, they have this high line. Uh, and if you watch it at the start, they're supposed to stay in the high line. All of a sudden, they drop back. Once you drop back, then you know, and you deliver the ball, it should be quite easy to deliver it just in front of the penalty spot, which they do. Once you, once you break that line, then it's very difficult to defend if the ball's perfect because you're going back towards your goal. So it's, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to stay on that rigid line and you're not supposed to worry about any of the players trying to get into, into the area. And that's what they did. As soon as they dropped then, that played Manchester City on, it was about the ball coming in, it was difficult to defend from then. Yeah, difficult to defend, but surely team of Manchester United's quality should be dealing with balls like that. Yes, of course, you know, yeah. they were a, a little bit slow. You can see it, you know, they, you, they just keep the high line, you know, not to, to be in the, in the five yards uh, line. So I can understand that. But after, when you start, you have to be quicker than the opponent. You have to arrive before them. And that was the case of Man City. It's just simple as that, you know. Mm -hmm. You're on, 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 the, on the same line, you know, and then you have to be at least, you know, one yard uh, in front of the of Stone and, and Ruben Diaz and, uh, and they were the quickest, you know, just to go uh, in front of Maguire. So that's a slight mistake, but uh, this is a uh, high level football and just the concentration, sometimes it's details and, uh, and they were more aggressive, you know, they started earlier the run and, uh, and, they, and they arrived uh, earlier, yeah. I just looked at Maguire there and you're looking for the two goals. He's not marking anybody, you know, he's got to be vocal, he's got to be leading the defence. You look at him in the both goals, he just stood there and the ball goes past him, he's not with anybody, mm -hmm. he's not marking anybody. No. You know, you look at the opposite side and you look at Diaz, he's, he's dominant, he's the one who's telling people, he's shouting at people. You know, you've got to have somebody what tells you what to do, it doesn't look like in the case for the two goals, he's, in, he's, he's pointless in being there. What about the second goal then? Well, watch Maguire then, and you'll have a bit of an idea. You've got to, you've got a mark, and you know balls into the box is, is a problem. Just watch here. If you, you get another angle in a minute, and uh, Maguire keep your eye on him. Obviously, it's a strike. It falls him at the edge of the box. Could they have done better with the clearance? Edge of the box, but there's nobody, nobody getting onto the ball. Just watch in a minute, Maguire. You'll see him there with the orange boots on. He's just watching the ball. He's not doing anything. He's not getting near anybody. Keep, keep it on this angle. There he is, stood there, watch, keep an eye on him. Look, nowhere, he's running around, he's not doing anything. Who's marking who? Is it zonal? What, what, are, we, what are we doing here? Look, there you go, there's another angle for you. Two or three of the players, to be honest with you. You know, can't they mark somebody? Can't you send somebody out to the edge of the box? Nobody's anywhere near anything at all there. But, but Aaron, overall, when you look at Man United, either you see individually or you see defensively, they were a bit slow today. I think the more intense team 
Wasman City, all over the, the, the park. And, uh, and you could see them, the body language, you know, technically the last pass, the final pass, uh, just to cover the, the, the ground, just to, uh, uh, to be more aggressive. And you didn't feel that. In every line of, uh, of Man United, a little bit of Rashford in the, in the first half, you know, when he, he had those diagonal run. But otherwise, you know, they, we didn't have a, a proper intense physical game from United what we've seen recently against Villa against the other team and uh, and technically you would expect uh, a Man City but on the physical aspect and mental aspect you, you 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 would have saw that Man United would have been better at home and because they needed more the final but no well let me pick you up on that mental aspect today four semi-finals now in the season and a half for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer that United have been knocked out this isn't happening by accident there's a reason for this what, what are they missing? They're so close to a final, yet they can't get there. I don't know. It's, a, it's an odd question, that. You know, this is the next stage. Uh, OK, is it improving since Solskjaer's there? You'd have to say yes with how well they're doing so far in the league. We don't know what it's going to be like at the end, but this is getting that first trophy. This is that Tottenham Hotspur type of thing. You know, you've got, once you get there, that might give the belief. After that, Manchester City have got the belief because domestically... They've won titles, they've won this, they're very comfortable in this, but they've won the last three. Mm. So they, they're more comfortable. Manchester United need to get over that hurdle where all of a sudden they get that first trophy and that's it. But it was disappointing because of the form that both teams go in. Manchester United went into this game in better form. Home form was great as well. And you thought, you look at it now and you didn't expect that performance. You thought, full of confidence, at home, mm. giving a little bit more to Manchester City and causing more problems. Is it as easy or simple as to say that they're not a cup side anymore, Manchester United. Because they could easily go top of the Premier League come the following week. And yet, they're struggling in a cup, albeit getting to the final hurdle. Yeah, the final hurdle is just the, the, the gap they have to close. Um, and sometimes it's different. Today, was the, there is a special uh, uh, thing in the cup. That, that's the spirit. You have to get it. And they didn't have it uh, uh, today in the League Cup, uh, semi-final of Europa League last year, they might deserve, but it was technically the last pass. So you could feel, you know, that um, they were into the game and in, the, in the last third. So um, it's just a process. <laughs> just to uh, they, they close, um, they still fa fail, but uh, they, they will get there. You know, they will. Uh, they, they know what their mistake they, they've done. You know, they should have done much more intense. You know, today you you you, you can't play like that. You know, with all the quality you you, you have. You know, the only way I'm, I, I'm, I sense had a, a bit of fight was uh, Fernandez, but he was so frustrated um, that all around him, you know, individually and and collectively they weren't ready. You know, we've seen Martial a couple of times. You know, he was the target man. His first touch was away. Um, Pogba was in there uh, uh, today. We expected more uh, from those players because they, they 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 can do more. And the and the spirit was in uh, was in Man City. You you could see uh, the runs, the the tackle, the, the aggressivity were there. And Man United, no. We've well, been watching our, our coverage. So through the next uh, half hour, we will hear from the manager and some of the players. I am sure. But right now, we're going to hear from Brian Robson. Brian, as a player, how do you cope with this kind of disappointment? I'm asking the wrong man, aren't I? Uh, well, yeah, you know, the, the lads are going to be disappointed. They go in training tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll be disappointed at, in training. Mm -hmm. But you'll assess what went wrong in the game. Yeah. And then you move on. Because they've still got a lot to play for. Mm -hmm. They've put themselves into a great position in the league. And, uh, you know, they're still in the FA Cup, still in the Europa Cup. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to play for in, in the season, but yeah. it's disappointing to lose the way we lost. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, to concede two set plays, ev everybody will tell you that in football, you, you know, you, you don't want to be conceding on set plays. That, that, you know, that's basic defending and yeah. getting in the right areas to get your head on the ball. Mm -hmm. Um, and we didn't do that twice tonight. Yeah. Before we get to the actual game and what happened out there, do you think it's concerning to have lost a fourth semi-final in a row because this is Manchester United, so inevitably that is now a tag that people will beat the club with? Well, people people say that, but, mm -hmm. you know, last year was last year. Mm -hmm. It's disappointing to lose the semi-final yeah. this year. Um, you know, I, I think in general terms, three of the semi-finals we, we haven't deserved to win anyway because yeah. we haven't done enough in the game mm -hmm. to, to win them. Against Sevilla, 
I, I thought we were really unlucky. I, I thought we dominated that game and their goalkeeper was outstanding. So the boys were a bit unlucky not to win that game. Um, but hey, that's in the past. Yep. What, the, what they have got to do is move forward. And if we get to another semi-final in whichever competition, you, you've got to be really determined next time that we don't lose another one. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so let's talk about it. Two goals from set pieces. Do you think United did enough aside from that to win this game? No, because I don't think we actually created that much. I mean, Fernandez had a great shot. Goalkeeper makes a great save. Uh, we had sort of little situations where if we just got a little bit of a break of the ball, we might have scored. Yeah. But we didn't really create clear-cut chances where we went, bang, oh, well, yeah. we should have scored there. Um, and that's why, you know, I, I said, you know, in the game that... You've got to give City a bit of credit because, you know, they've been criticised for the defending and they've got to score that many goals to yeah. win a game because the defence isn't good. But I thought City were very, very good mm -hmm. uh, defensively tonight. Well, I think John Stones was the official man of the match, I think. And, of course, he scored the opening goal, which came from a free kick. Uh, what did you make of that and, and how do you think we dealt with them from set pieces? Well, uh, you, you know, you can go back and, you know, for me... I looked at the tackle that Scott made, mm -hmm. um, not quite sure who, whether it was still, I don't think it was still, but whoever he made the tackle on that, um, I just thought, that doesn't look a free kick to me, but yeah. the referee give it, um, and so, okay, it's a dangerous area, but we had everybody back in the box, and it's dropped onto Stone's legs. Yeah. Somebody has got to get ahead of him. I mean, we're Mark Zonal, so that means everybody should be sp uh, filling a space. So when that ball goes in, somebody has got to get a flick on and, and head it back yeah. beyond the people who are coming in on, on the far post. So for me, we haven't attacked the ball really well uh, because that's what good defences do. Mm -hmm. uh, so we haven't done that and we got punished. Yeah, we did. Uh, we'll hear more from Robbo very soon, but first we're going to head to the Warwick Suite to hear from Danny Webber. He's with Sully. Against your rivals in the semi-final and a goal thrown in for you as well is yeah. a pretty special night overall. Yeah, no, a massive uh, result for us. Um, another clean sheet, another uh, goal on a personal note, um, and, a, and another derby win for us that, that takes us to a, a final, as you said. So, you know, a great occasion for us, massive uh, achievement on... on uh, for Man City in, in general of um, doing it four times making a final four time, uh, four years on a row um, you know and that's another step forward another step forward for us as a, as a club and, and as players we, we knew what was asked of us today and what, what a derby is um, means to the to the city so um, yeah just overall really thrilled and, and, and glad to be, got, uh, to be going back to Wen uh, Wembley you said another goal on a personal note. Can you remember your last one? It's been a little while. Oh, it's been years. <laughs> it's been years. <laughs> First of November 2017 against yeah. Napoli for City. But you, you really... scored for England against uh, Panama, I think, yeah, in that's the right, yeah. 2018 World Cup. That was your last one. So to see that ball hit the back of the net is it's just a great feeling. I think. Yeah, no, massive feeling, um, especially in a derby. Um, you know, it's been a, a long time coming, I suppose, for, for me with goals. It's something that... You know, uh, I need to bring more more to my game. Um, something I'm trying hard to. It's it's not as easy as it as it looks as a, for a defender, as uh, especially. But yeah, when you can chip in and, and, and do your job, and uh, obviously keeping a clean sheet is more more like a celebration for us. But obviously, if I can chip in in, in, in a big occasion, I can do. Yeah, clearly your job is more at the other end, yeah. and that, that relationship between you and Ruben seems to have just gone from strength to strength, really, for the past sort of six weeks or so now. What do you put that down to? Your your form uh, has been so good. Yeah, I think um, we we gelled really well. I think it's just just a, a natural thing. Sometimes you can't explain it. Um, you know, it's been a pleasure to, to play with, um, for him to come into um, a new club and, and settle in so quickly is, is massive, massive credit to him. Um, he's a top guy, um, first and foremost, and, and, and a top player, which is, um, is great for us. He's playing so well, and I'm, I'm enjoying, enjoying playing with him, and hopefully we can keep building on the partnership. 
and, and taking our chances when, when we're out there on the, on the pitch as well. Just finally for me, I mean, it's five wins in this competition in the last seven years for City. Yeah. It, it clearly means a lot to, to the manager and to the club as well. Yeah, definitely. It's another piece of silverware that, that um, we want to bring home. Hopefully we can again. Um, something we're proud of. Something I'm very proud of. It's my first trophy here at, at City. And... Um, you know, we're, we're, we're in every competition for a reason, and that's to win it. So we take everything um, seriously, every game seriously. And I think um, our attitude, um, you know, everyone can see how we play and, and how we go about our business, and, and it's um, standard as, standing us in uh, good stead. Well done tonight. Cheers, thank you. Thanks, John. Bend really well, and, and we did. We kept defending well. They didn't create too many chances. They had a shot to... Uh, hit the post but obviously uh, I felt that we're in this game we just needed a little bit extra and then very disappointing to concede from uh, two set plays that's um, the, after the first set play I thought we reacted well we played well uh, when they went 1-0 up but uh, created half chances but not enough to uh, to score yeah I didn't see much in it at all at half time it was a very enjoyable game to watch was it just that first goal always going to be so important. Yeah, you've got to open up then, and uh, uh, we w would have liked the, to have defended that first free kick better. That's that's a poor goal to give away, I have to say. Uh, it's not one to analyse on telly here, but um, very very disappointing. Was it particularly difficult in the second half to create sort of clear? clear-cut opportunity, had quite a lot of possession, but difficult to create clear-cut chances. Yeah, when, you, when you give them a chance to hang on to something, of course it's harder. They defend well, they've, uh, they're well-structured. Still, I felt we put some pressure on them, but created half chances, but not enough to uh, to say that we should have scored on that one or should have scored on that one. Uh, we had some moments, but uh, just not enough. Can you see the difference so from, say, a year ago when they came oh, here yeah. and won, I think, like three up after 40 minutes a year ago, the yeah. difference... A year yeah. on. For me, this is a much better and uh, more competitive version of Man United. Uh, but still, we've lost. We're just not there yet. Uh, and that's a big a big word, yet. We'll get there. The, these boys are getting better. These disappointments will, will hurt. Uh, and those little habits that, that can create those little margins for you, then they've been, um, they've been good. But we can also be better at the little things. And with big games coming up still every three days or so, yeah. important that this doesn't in any way overshadow anything or derail anything because there's so many big games. Exactly. It's allowed for an hour or so to be very disappointed before you go to bed. Wake up tomorrow morning with uh, something to look forward to. You've, you've got to. You've got to be uh, positive again because, as you say, FA Cup and big league games. Thanks, Ollie. Appreciate it. Just get over the line to get to a final and win a trophy. The sooner that happens, the better. Yeah, because sometimes, you know what, press alike and what people like you can you know you can it can linger about oh can you get past the semi-final but I think tonight I think we I think we missed Cavani uh, we mentioned there's a few moments not real chances where you know crosses were getting put across you know the six yard box and I think someone like Cavani would have would have, would have made a difference tonight yeah it's just a shame he wasn't available he'll miss one more match the Watford game and then be back for Burnley um, but there is a, a competition for place in this squad It'll be freshened up again, no doubt, for the Watford game and a game for the Premier League fixture. So, yeah. after a disappointment like this, it might open a door for someone else to come and get a chance and say, "Right, I'm going to be in your starting eleven now, boss." Yeah, because if I if I was you know, a player um, tonight that didn't, well, I wasn't involved, uh, didn't get on, you know, and and hopefully I get a chance on Saturday, then you know I, I want to show the manager, well, you should have played me the other day. Yeah. Um, and and that's that's what the squad's about. And uh, that's what Man United is about. So hopefully on Saturday, you know, if there is players that get given an opportunity, you know, they, they, they perform well and they give Oli something to think about for the next Premier League game. Yeah, because um, the Championship side, Watford, um, like most sides at the moment, they've got one eye on their league form. Um, there's no crowds in stadiums for FA yeah. Cup games at the moment. Revenues are a little bit down. So you never know how they're going to approach that tie. We already see... Derby County are going to field 23s and 18s yeah. in their match against Chorley. You know, it's going to be a strange old FA Cup this year. It will, and as I said, the Championship, um, they've got a lot of games, you know, just, just like the Premier League. And But again, Watford, uh, you know, they're, they're coming to Old Trafford. <laughs> and then some of them players may, may never play here again or I've ever played here before. So, you know, they'll have nothing to lose. So regardless of what team 
you know, they do select. You know, they're coming here with nothing to lose. So hopefully the the, the lads will you know will regroup uh, and and take it serious and, and make sure they put a performance on and, and get through to the next round. Yeah, let's hope they can. Uh, Simo, pleasure uh, enjoying Thank the you. company with you as always. around the centre-half position. So when you're struggling in that defensive area like that, if we get there with all of our strikers fit, we should cause Liverpool problems, whether it's at Anfield or not. Yeah, that could be great, couldn't it? Especially if we beat Burnley and go into that game three points clear. Yeah, all the pressure's on Liverpool then. Yeah, we don't want to uh, count our chickens and all that. Uh, all of those games, though, apart from Watford and Arsenal at the end of the month, all the ones... No, it's Sheffield United, isn't it? Apart from Watford yeah. and Sheffield United, all away. That's a lot of away games, a lot of travelling. Does, does that affect things, do you think? No, it's great for us. Yeah, <laughs> we, we keep winning Have away. you seen our away <laughs> performances? Um, no, no, I'd seem uh, as if the coping with yeah. the away games and the travelling, uh, they've done it great. Uh, mm -hmm. Ollie said, you know, he's really happy with the squad. Um, touch wood, we haven't got any injuries. Yeah. Um, you, you know, so when Cavani comes back from suspension, uh, the squad's looking great and the lads have just got to have this belief in them, mm -hmm. which which I really do now. I, I, I think, I agree with Ollie. I think we're improving all the time, but what we've got to do is some of these big games now, we've yeah. got to really stamp our authority and get some good wins. Well, hopefully we'll get lots of good wins in January and you can catch all the action here on MUT.